Hi friends. Today we shall discuss a very interesting problem related to ladder friction. I want all of you to pause the video and read the question and try to understand the question first. Okay friends, I hope you all have read the question and uh, understood what we need to find out. The question is like this, we have a uniform ladder 6 meter long which is weighing 300 Newton. He is resting against the wall with which it makes 30 degree. A man 750 Newton climbs up the ladder. At what position along the ladder from the bottom end does the ladder slips? The coefficient of friction for both wall and the ground the ladder is 0 0.2. Unfortunately, for this uh, numerical example, we don't have the figure. You will have to draw it by yourself from all the data given in the question. Let's draw the figure and uh, let us understand the problem. Now, a very important data from the question. The question, they have said that the ladder rests against the wall and it makes 30 degrees. So, the ladder is making 30 degrees with the wall. 30 degrees with the wall. So, you should always read the question very carefully and you should understand what is our requirement. 30 degrees. Thus, we have marked the self-weight the angle that the ladder makes with the wall so is 30 degrees as given in the question. So, since this is 30 degree, this will be 60 degree, this will be 90 degree. Now comes the most interesting part. A man weighing 750 Newton climbs up the ladder. Okay, a man weighing 750 Newton climbs up the ladder and when he reaches a particular point, the ladder loses its equilibrium and the ladder slips down. Let us uh, mark a point over here. Mark a point over here. So, uh, let us understand the question once again. The most important part. There is a man weighing 750 Newton. He climbs up the ladder. When he reaches this point, till this point, the ladder is in equilibrium. Let us consider like that. Till this point, the ladder is in equilibrium. Ladder stays in its position. When the man moves to the very next point when the man moves to the very next point the ladder will lose its equilibrium and the ladder will slip down i'm going to mark the distance from a to this point as x as x as x so, when the man steps, even a millimeter from this point towards B, the ladder will lose its equilibrium and it will slip down. So, between A and this point, wherever may he stand, the ladder will be in static equilibrium. So, that's the concept. So, that's what you have to understand. Now, let us uh, mark the weight of the man also. Yes, 750 Newton. Okay. In this arrangement or in this setup, our system, our ladder is in equilibrium. Now, let us uh, draw the free body diagram of ladder and let us find out the value of x. Let's find out the value of x. Friends, I hope you all have drawn the free body diagram of ladder. And uh, this is the free body diagram of the ladder. You can uh, pause the video and you can cross check with the free body diagram that you have drawn. This is our ladder. AB. 300 Newton represents the self-weight. 
sin 50 newton represents the man and uh, the distance from this point to a is taken as x the moment this 750 newton moves to the next i won't say next any point towards the right of this point towards b the ladder will lose its uh, stability reaction at a reaction at b perpendicular to the contact surface friction at a friction at b now the tendency of the ladder will be to fall like this so this end a will be moving towards left and this end b will be moving downwards so the friction will be acting opposite direction to the movement so i hope it's clear to you so when the 750 newton is at a distance x from a this whole arrangement is in equilibrium so the moment he moves to the next to uh, i won't say next point the moment he uh, moves even a millimeter from this point the whole equilibrium will be lost so we are going to assume like that now let's write the equilibrium equations and uh, let's solve it so the equilibrium equations are as we all know it's a sigma f x equal to 0 sigma f y equal to 0 and uh, sigma m about any point equal to 0 so let's write the equilibrium equations and uh, let's uh, solve the x solve for x and let's find out the value of x since we have drawn the free body diagram now let us apply the conditions of equilibrium sigma fx equal to 0 sigma fy equal to 0 and the sigma moment of force is about a common point equal to 0 now we have a uh, consider the axis like this y uh, x uh, we can take it as a uh, vertical horizontal also means uh, axis perpendicular to the plane and uh, axis parallel to the plane y x or vertical horizontal so let us uh, take sigma fx or uh, sigma fh that is sum of all forces parallel to the plane parallel to the plane equal to zero f a r b these are the only forces which are in the x direction or uh, parallel to the plane if a minus r b equal to zero from uh, mu equal to f by r relationship you can write f a equal to point two r a and uh, this zero point two coefficient of friction is already given in the question substituting f a as zero point two r a and uh, solving you will get r a equal to 5 r b now uh, taking the next equation sigma f y or sum of all forces perpendicular to the plane vertical equal to 0 you will get r a f b 300 newton and 750 newton r a 300 newton 750 newton and f b here also applying the relationship of coefficient of friction limiting friction and normal reaction you will get Point two equal to FB by RB, point two RB. Substituting FB, in fact, uh, substituting point two RB for FB and uh, solving, you will get RB as 201.90 Newton. If you have any doubts in any step, just pause the video, rewind, you will understand it. It's, uh, nothing tricky in uh, these steps. Now, uh, we got the value of uh, rb and uh, from here we can find out ra we need to find out x we need to find out x so now uh, let us uh, take the third condition sigma m equal to 0 we can uh, fix any point as a moment center a b below this 300 newton and any point but it's always advisable you fix the moment center at in one end because uh, you can eliminate some forces because if you fix it a there won't be any moment for r a and f a since the line of actions of uh, these forces move uh, falls through the or moves through the moment center so over here i'm going to take moment about a i'm going to fix a as a moment center and uh, let us take the moment 
थ्री हंड्रेड न्यूटन ए मोमेंट विल बी इक्वल टू फोर्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द पर्पटिकल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ फोर्स एंड मोमेंट सेंटर थ्री हंड्रेड न्यूटन इज अल्फेट थ्री मीटर दिस एंगल विल बी सिक्सटी सिंस दिस इज थर्टी दिस विल बी सिक्सटी एंड ए क्यू विल बी द पर्टिकुलर टेस्ट आर्म ऑफ मोमेंट सो थ्री हंड्रेड इज थ्री कॉस सिक्सटी एंड इट विल बी ए क्लॉकवाइज मोमेंट एम कंसिडरिंग ऑल क्लॉकवाइज मोमेंट्स एस पॉजिटिव क्लॉकवाइज मोमेंट पॉजिटिव I'm going to consider it like that. Clockwise moments are positive. Now let's take the second force, seven fifty. Seven fifty into multiplied by the perpendicular distance between line of action, seven fifty newton force and moment center. That will be A P. A P. From A to this point, it's x sixty. So this will be x cos sixty, and it is also making a clockwise moment. Now we are left with R B and F B, both are making moments over A. F B into six cos sixty and R B into six sine sixty. Six sine sixty. R B is making an anti-clockwise moment. F B is also making an anti-clockwise moment. That's why we have given negative sign. And solving, we will get x equal to one point nine two meter. X equal to one point nine two meters. Now, what does uh, X equal to one point nine two means? It means that when the man is stepping or moving up the ladder till one point nine two meter from A, the ladder will be in equilibrium. So, for even a slightest movement. From this one point nine two towards B, when he takes the next step, ladder will lose its equilibrium. So from A till one point nine two meters, the whole arrangement will be in equilibrium. So uh, in our question, this is the uh, what position along the ladder from bottom end does the ladder slip? So any position greater than or higher than one point nine two meter, the ladder will slip. Okay, that's uh, that was this uh, numerical example. If you have any doubts, you may contact me. Thank you.